Jason Sui and today I'm here with a new hair tutorial and it is on how I achieved this blue hair. So yeah, I'm doing this tutorial a little bit differently this time around. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys like this method of doing hair tutorials or what. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on into this. So I colored my hair blue because I wanted to have blue hair. And I actually made a custom color by mixing in a couple of different colors and with a bunch of conditioner to get this color. It's through all of my hair, so like my two streaks here on my roots. So yeah, which my virgin roots are kind of long now. I think they're at about maybe an inch now. So yeah, they're pretty long. And it's only been about maybe a little over two months since I did the first root touch up. Well, I say the first. The last root touch up. Originally wanting to go for more of like a blurple kind of color, but when I made this, I actually didn't put in enough purple. I mainly put in blue. How I made this color is that I mixed about maybe an ounce of Mana Packs Voodoo Blue and with, I'd say, about maybe a tablespoon of Mana Panics purple haze in the amplified formula. I'm not 100% sure on these measurements. I just eyeball my shit. So I'm just giving you guys like a rough example of what the measurements might have been as I sure as hell don't know. So good luck. And I mixed in, I think 35 pumps of conditioner. And yes, I know that is a lot of conditioner but I had to cover pretty much my whole entire head essentially. So I needed to make sure that I had enough. I also put some on my side cuts and I trimmed them up yesterday so you can't really tell if the color is there. There is a bit like a, a bit of a tinge and there is just a little bit of staining but that staining is on some like, like flaky skin that's there. So it's not that big of a deal. Then the rest is pretty basic and self-explanatory. I just ran it through my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and just continue on with the speed through so you guys can see the application process and what to not. So yeah.
these are the results. I'm really happy with this color, but I realized yesterday that I already have this color. I already have this color. This is pretty spot on to Punky Colors Atlantic Blue. I'm gonna pop up an image of me with Atlantic Blue because I had an Atlantic Blue in my hair last year. It is pretty spot on to Atlantic Blue. It might just be the slightest bit lighter than Atlantic Blue, but it is pretty spot on. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of making a custom color, then by all means just go with Punky Colors Atlantic Blue. But if you're like me and are working with a large amount of hair, I highly suggest the method that I used to get this color. Since I work with a large amount of hair, I need to have a lot of product. And in total, I think I had maybe like eight ounces of product. So yeah, I had a fuck ton of product. And you can only get but I think like four ounces in a jar of punky color. At the very end of things, it's a lot cheaper to do it this way. So yeah, because in the long run you're gonna be saving money and whatnot. So yeah. Also, I do know that it's kind of patchy in some areas. I don't know why, it just didn't take very well in some areas. It was like, I made sure to apply a good amount of product, but for some reason in some spots it just did not take very well. So, yeah. Who knows, maybe it's like a thing when it comes to like making custom colors and mixing in like a fuck ton of conditioner. Who the fuck knows, I sure as hell don't. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love this color. It's so pretty. It's nice. And I have a feeling that it's going to last for me a while because generally speaking, whenever I make custom colors by mixing them in with conditioner, they tend to last a lot longer. I don't know why that is. It just is. But before I go, I'm going to go ahead and remind you guys that I'm going to be filming a Q&A video right around the end of June, early July, somewhere in that time frame so go ahead and send in your questions if you have any you can leave them down in the comments below or you can message them to me here on youtube and or if you want to submit them anonymously you can send them over to my tumblr s box or just send them in a message and just let me know that you want it to be anonymous so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new here to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to hit that like button because it'll help me out a lot all my links are down in the description box below, and until I see you guys in my next video, whenever the hell that may be, goodbye.